basically we are scaling very fast. We've just been in business for two years and uh, we've seen tremendous growth. And one aspect of growing is of course not just doing it organically, but through acquisitions. And that's why I'm here today, to basically learn what other companies who have acquired other companies before have done and their, their takeaways and uh, the good and, and the bad aspects of that. The decision to diversify really came um, as a result of looking at our business at the time. Um, we were dependent uh, for our revenue on one particular client and although we built organic growth it wasn't enough to actually um, uh, desensitise us from that, that um, over-reliance. So we, we tripped over um, acquisition really, a, an opportunity came. Um, and once um, we'd made that acquisition, which was pretty much a smaller version of ourselves, we realised that we could also use it to diversify it as well, um, so that we could take other businesses in our sector, which offered a slightly different um, service than the one that we had, so that we could build our service offering piece by piece um, by, having, uh, by having a group philosophy rather than a, a single unit philosophy, if it were. It's critically important to design and plan an acquisition strategy. If you don't do that, you won't be able to have the full vision to be able to execute the acquisitions in a sensible commercial manner. The, the key things behind designing and planning the strategy are to look forward, to think about uh, the targets that you're looking at, to make sure that the entrepreneurs that you are negotiating with um, are good, sensible, trustworthy individuals. Um, it's important that you understand the, both the cost synergies but also the sales synergies that, that can come through and it's also important that you and your staff understand um, the potential cultural changes that an acquisition may bring um, when you eventually you complete the acquisition. Choosing the right advisor is, is really important for us. Uh, it, it depends on the size of the deal as to what advice we get. Uh, for smaller deals where it's generally just goodwill and asset purchase or we'll just take legal advice um, but for the bigger deals where we're doing a core company purchase the share purchase uh, we'll get legal advice and corporate advisors um, and the way we pick them is generally getting introductions to them referrals from people we know and trust uh, and then meeting them and just making a decision on chemistry mainly Well, for us, it was a big decision to decide to be acquired by Columbia Capital and become part of this global buy and build. I set the company up 14 years ago in a serviced office, a couple of us there, and we grew the company quite nicely. But for me, I've always been fascinated by this whole private equity and venture capital world and understanding how they can put together these special purpose vehicles and bring all of these companies together under one global brand. And for us, it allowed us to address a whole different subject of uh, customers that we would never have been able to uh, work with before as a sort of smaller UK-based organisation. There have been a number of interesting lessons that we've learned across the way. The biggest one is that the normal economics of how you price businesses and how you value businesses don't really seem to apply in this hyper-growth, global-scale uh, enterprise buy and build. They're very much more focused on what's your top-line revenue growth, what's your addressable market, and some of the valuation points that you might have used to value a smaller business just don't really apply in this new world. The key takeaways for me today were really um, You've got to have a proper process in place, how you actually find potential targets and then how you do the due diligence and how you close the deals. Um, the second nugget is probably, uh, you know, how do you integrate the new entity into your firm, into your, firm, into your culture? Um, and also uh, be prepared that some deals will not go through. They will simply fail for, for several reasons. So, so don't be too much in love with, with one deal or one company and don't pay a stupid price.